In this video I am going to introduce like a cyclone and just create a new project and into the new project I'm going to import some data that I've got from a scanner that's currently here in this scanner projects folder. So if I just open like a cyclone and give it a wee second to start up. Now the first time you run that there will be an extra dialog that you just have to click through just confirming this Cyclone software. Uh, I've done that already. And first thing we need to do is we have to create a database and we have to decide whether the, this will be a shared or unshared database. Here I'm going to opt for unshared and I'm going to add a database and I'm going to call this the hub which is the name of the building that we scanned. And I have to choose a database file name. Oops. And sorry, this was previously used and set to a location that didn't exist. So what I'm going to do is create a new project folder. And then a new file. And when I click open here, the file doesn't actually exist yet. It's actually going to be creating the file and click OK and that's us done and we now have a project so we have to click here to expand to see the project and now we need to import the data there's a whole range of other options here we're just going to jump to we need to know the type of our scanner it was a C10 we're going to import the whole project we're going to import the whole thing and I've already got the folder open. This project is in my documents, a folder called the hub, the scanner projects folder and then it's within there. This project was called student. We can see within this that there are a number of individual scans. We could import those as partial scans but we're importing the whole project so we just click OK with the student selected. I'm choosing to map colours and estimate normals we didn't use black and white targets and we can choose an option to find pipes automatically to allow it to automatically detect locations of pipes it does slow down import, I'm going to skip that just now click OK and then it does take a little bit of time to respond in a couple of seconds a little dialogue will pop up to start showing the progress and this will take a while so I'll go grab a coffee and we can perhaps pause this and come back to the video in a little while. OK, a uh, couple of minutes later and the project is imported and the dialogue has popped itself away and as a result we now have extra tree here and we can see we've got a whole range of different options here. So that's us with our scans imported.